taking the humble chip butty up a notch and we're assured that we'll never look at a chip butty in the same way again. She's also taking tomato ketchup <laughs> off <of> ten gazillion <laughs> notches. This, this is Whatever that is, get to that at some point. Honestly. That's amazing. Should I get to that now? Go on. Why don't yes. we get that? So, there, there is something that looks like a brown sludge in that bowl. Yes. It is an Indian pimped ketchup. So, all you do is blitz up ketchup with garlic, just raw garlic. How much garlic would you well, put Well, two cloves. So, so, a bowl of ketchup that big yeah. in your blitzer. A clove and a half, two cloves, if you like. It's got a bit of garlic in that. Yeah. And then coriander leaf. Blitz it up and it is life changing. Now that will sit. It's almost amazing. like a pickle. Isn't it amazing? So you can just eat that with a fork. How long would that stay in your fridge? Honestly, you, you'd get them. Well, you'd get a couple of weeks out of that, three, yeah. four weeks. Yeah. You know, because, because what amazing. happens is it all starts to basically pickle. So the coriander is suspended in, you know, tomato animation. Yeah. So it lasts a long time. But there's a bit of heat in there as well. Is that just there's a, a bit of garlic? Actually, garlic, do you know what? In fairness, a little bit of green chilli. A oh, little bit of green chilli, you can. Go, I put a little bit go. of green chilli in with you. So you're tasting a chip butty there. I'm going so in. So much to tell you now. This is honestly how Indians pimp their Western staples. Mm -hmm. So Indians, diaspora, when they come to the West, as my parents did, they would look at chips. So me and my brother would go out to the chippy and by the time your back was turned and back across, they'd have added to the chips three cardinal pimping ingredients, red onion, green chilli and fresh coriander leaf. And they'd run it up a chibati and that would be the Indian chip butty. Now I've taken that up a notch or two. Um, I'm just keeping half an eye on this sort of shallow frying, so very healthy. Are you, are you smiling good smiles yeah, there? it's mm. really good. I can't stop eating this. Well, really we were fun. laughing in the break because Holly said it doesn't count as a chip butty because it's in a wrap. It's in a wrap. <laughs> doesn't count. It doesn't count. Like, it's, it's fine. So it's I think this is healthy. quite healthy. I think it's not that bad. Is it? Really it? Am is. I just <laughs> kidding No, myself? do you know, my, my theory is when you... OK, this is ridiculous, so I shouldn't be saying it out loud, but when you deep fry something, it's almost like steaming it, isn't it? <laughs> All you're doing is hermetically sealing it, <laughs> protecting yeah. it from the heat, <laughs> yeah, and it steams inside. That. So let's go with that. But it is... It's a whole meal wrap. Mm -hmm. So this is a typically great wake-up kind of snack that you would have. Now, the way that Indians cook chips is we would always treat potatoes with turmeric because what mm -hmm. that does is it adds to the earthy note. So even just when you taste those chips because they've got turmeric on them, they taste deeper yeah. and almost sweeter because turmeric is so gruff, mm -hmm. the sweetness of the potato comes out. OK, so into that, turmeric a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add fenugreek powder. Now, I've shown you fenugreek powder before, mm -hmm. and what fenugreek does is any of those lacklustre ingredients, like courgettes or pumpkins or potatoes that don't have an awful lot to say for themselves, fenugreek brings this voice out in them that is incredible. And that's why when you just taste the chips with fenugreek and turmeric, they taste magical. Mm -hmm. They taste like they've got 100 dimensions of flavour, and that's just turmeric, then you greet, so go out and it's worth the investment. Now, so we toss those together. This is typically Indian chips. And we deep or shallow fry them. Mm -hmm. So I've cut these quite thin. You honestly don't need to peel them either if you want that added health benefit. Yeah. I'm not being um, facetious in that. Honestly, why, why peal them? It makes, yeah. it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah. Right, those go in. So you sort of know how to fry chips. I'm not double or triple fry. There's nothing clever about this because all the flavour's in there already. So we are going to deep fry those. And I'm going to switch And you that do... Off. You wouldn't do that whole bowl all at once. You do them in batches. I do them in batches. Yes. Just because, re remember, every time you put something in hot oil... The oil goes... Exactly. Down. It lowers the temperature, so it yeah. slows the process. Yeah. Quicker, actually, to do them in batches. Yeah. So they will fry and you will get something like this. Yes. All right. Now we're going to pimp this the Indian way. Remember, those three ingredients. We are going red onion. Can I ask you, I, so when you fry them, in order to make sure they're soft all the way through, how long are you frying those for ish? The chips in the pan now? Yeah. You're talking about sort of eight minutes. Eight minutes. Honestly. And you have to turn them a little bit. You just keep an eye on them and just keep flipping okay. them, yes. Now, we don't need, do you remember, because they've got turmeric on, they look coloured already. They look yeah. like they've got a good colour, so you don't actually need for them to go totally brown because remember we are adding so many ingredients Other to this flavors, yeah. that the benefit of that kind of caramelization yeah. is almost lost this isn't about that this is about all of those zingy notes mm -hmm. this is about a potato that is cooked it's also really good with mash honestly if you ran mash up a chapati with these ingredients it's going to taste incredible mm. it's that potato heft that we want right all i've done is Red onion, yep. chilli and yep. coriander leaf, that's mm -hmm. it. We're in India. Now, mm -hmm. another fantastic ingredient, a bit of chat, 
chat masala. Chat means to lick your plate clean because it? it's so delicious. That's all that chat means. So we toss those together. And then, yeah, so that's what it means. Now, in chat masala, while I'm doing that, I'm going to heat up a chapati on my skillet here. Yeah. Um, chat masala has got in it. Can I smell that? Yes, and it smells really, yeah. uh, it smells dreadful. Smell oh. it. Oh, but even that's interesting. Chat masala contains, can you smell it? It smells pungent. It doesn't smell dreadful, though. Rotten eggs? Not, not dreadful. I'm not getting that. <laughs> smell that. I'm not getting Tell rotten me what eggs you at all. No. No, really? No. Okay, in that is a really interesting ingredient called black sulfurous salt. Black salt is a big part ah. of Indian, in Indian cooking. And it has got a oh, sulfurous edge to it. It's got cumin in it. Honestly, do you not smell that kind of eggy smell? A little eggy, tiny bit. Eggy I've smell. only yeah. stirred it up with my finger then. Yeah. Into this, we're going to put a bit of that chutney that you like. Yeah, that's good, that stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. And also some green chilli pickle. Mm. You get this in Asian shops. You can make it, but just go and get a jar. Green chilli pickle, not the red stuff. It is so fresh. It is the but ultimate not hot, zinc. I can't taste anything in there that's. Yeah, uh, we didn't punchy. put too much in for you because I was a bit polite, but actually, you do want it to give you a bit of a belt. Oh. <laughs> you want to be tasting this for 10 minutes after you've eaten it, as oh, the Indians would. would. Me. And then you simply run the chips up. Yeah, so in that chat masala, all these incredible ingredients. What's great with chat masala is fruit. And into this, I'm going to put a little bit of apple. This is just. Oh, is that what's in a there? A Granny Smith. Chopped I was apple. wondering what that like. Cr you can taste the crunch of something. A crunch of something and a little bit of sweetness. In India, when you buy fruit, they sell it with little pouches of salt. So very often, in the you you get a piece of uh, newspaper and in it is this sulphurous black salt. So try if you ever buy chat masala, get your fruit and dip it in the chat masala. Dip your apple in salt. How crazy is that? But it's a very common thing. I think it's a thing that they do at it, because remember, it's all about sort of electrolytic balance, and mm. you're sweating like a horse when you're out in India, mm. and you want the salt, you want those things back in your body, so very often fruit is served in that way. So we just roll this and we cut it, and we yummy. serve it in that way. Yes, so... Yum, yum, yum. There's been a few interesting ingredients that I'm I just really wanted to introduce you, because they're yep. life-changing, you can use them anywhere. Mm. So chat masala, on your fruit, on your chip butties. Green chilli pickle on absolutely everything. It is fantastic. And that's it, really, really simple. Um, but remember, with, with whenever you're cooking chips, anything Indian, turmeric, fenugreek, when you start it off. They're the winners. I don't know what's happened. Oh, my yeah. God, you've absolutely... It's gone. I don't know why. Did know. somebody steal it? I don't when know you were what looking the other happened. way. I looked over to you and then it was gone. <laughs> I love the way you can still do eye contact while you're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Just ramming it in. Thank you well very much. Done. See you in Amazing. a bit. Yeah. See you in a minute. Um, so what's the next one you're doing later? It's going to be a mango and coriander salmon. Mm. That's lovely. And that's really fresh. nice and healthy then. It's it? really healthy because Perfect. frying doesn't count, does no, it? No, <laughs> it's not. Uh, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app. Right,